a way to keep more than just the memory of a beloved cat or dog alive. Some pet owners are now cloning their four-legged family members. Well, it's possible, but it's not cheap. As WBZ's Paula Evans shows us, some people are spending more than it would cost to buy a new car to keep their pet in the family. Baxter is a nine-month-old toy poodle. He's also a clone. People have a hard time wrapping their brain around it, that it is really a real technology, that it's not science fiction. It's not like what you see on TV or in the movies. The company Viagen has been successfully cloning livestock for more than 15 years. Now they're cloning dogs and cats, too. The dog that you're going to clone is not going to be a, a Frankenstein. It's just a normal dog like any other dog. You never know by looking at him. Cloning starts when your vet takes four small skin samples from your pet. It's a simple procedure, and most pets go home the same day. Those samples are sent off to the Viagen lab in Texas. From that little skin sample, we culture millions and millions of cells. And these are cells that contain the pet's complete DNA. And that's all that we need for cloning. Viagen then chooses a surrogate approximately the same size as your pet. Who has a normal gestation. And then you've got a puppy that's born that is a genetic twin to the original pet. As you would imagine, it's not cheap. The cloning fee is $50,000 to clone a dog. There's a lot of interest, so we do currently have a waiting list. Even dogs who are sick or have cancer can be cloned. It's not that same pet born over again, but it's those same genetics. And this little piece of this pet that they love so much is somehow back in their life again. Viagen says many of their cloned dogs are mixed breed rescues, the kind you'd never be able to replicate until now. Paula Eben, WBZ News.